Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump flat out refuses question from CNN's Acosta at presser. Let's go to a real. Jim Acosta found himself at the center of attention when President Trump made him look foolish in front of the entire galaxy. CNN's Acosta was asking a question to President Trump during a press conference with Theresa May, but then Trump chimed in right away with one of the funniest replies we've seen in a while. Trump's response was an instant classic for the president as he verbally shot down Acosta's request for a question with the most brilliant belittling we've seen all week. It was like as soon as Acosta spoke, Trump narrowed down on him and shot his question out of the sky like a skeet shooter. Boom! There goes Acosta's question and now we're moving on to the next. The first rule of asking questions is to not ask someone if you can ask a question. You've already asked them a question. Now you're asking to ask the second question. Just ask the first one instead. Of course, Acosta asked if he could ask a question, which sounds somewhat redundant, right? The funny exchange was caught on video and millions have probably watched it by now. During a press conference on Friday, President Donald Trump launched another attack on CNN, but this time compared it to Fox News. His comments came during a joint press conference with British Prime Minister Theresa May. When CNN reporter Jim Acosta started asking Trump if he could ask a question, Trump flatly denied his request and instead went to Fox News John Roberts. Mr. President, since you attacked CNN, can I ask you a question? Acosta asked. Trump responded by saying, I don't take questions from CNN, and finished with, CNN is fake news. When Trump called on Roberts, he said let's go to a real network, prompting Acosta to charge back, well, we're a real network too, sir. Trump's comment came amid long-standing tension between CNN and Trump's administration. After a series of tense encounters with both press secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders as well as Trump, Acosta faced vocal and public backlash at one of Trump's rallies last month. During one of Acosta's televised reports, a man held up a sign that read, CNN sucks, and people started chanting, go home, Jim. This makes you wonder if Acosta ever get tired of being told he sucks or that he's fake news. It also makes you wonder if he thrives on the attention because at least the president is paying attention to him. Even though Trump's replies and remarks to Slash at Acosta don't get CNN much information, but at least they're in the spotlight and getting some press. In one way, they're effective, but that's probably not the way they would like to be presented in front of a worldwide audience. Acosta would probably prefer to ask a question and get an answer, but since Trump clearly doesn't like him or CNN that much, then that probably won't happen as often as they'd like. Perhaps if Acosta would act more professional and not try to be a magnet for attention or if CNN was less partisan, then perhaps Trump would give them the benefit of the doubt. As it stands, the President of the United States isn't interested in working with fake news CNN, so they probably aren't getting a good response out of him anytime soon. Just looked at CNN's homepage and these appear to be two of the top stories for them. One story is about criticizing Trump's stroll and another story is about Scarlett Johansson being basically forced out of an acting job after intolerant people threw nasty backlash at her. Is this what the top stories of the day really are for CNN? Even on the weekend, how could someone see this as two important stories? I know it's Saturday afternoon, but this is more fitting for the comic section of a local student-run newspaper, not a major corporation. CNN has some issues if this is what they're placing as two of the big stories on their homepage. I prefer Fox News who spotlighted a major stow. Ryan which the mayor of London seems to be too focused on hating Trump while his city is torn to pieces by criminals. What issues are more important and newsworthy? The way Trump strolls and Scar Joe being forced out of a movie role? Or an entire beautiful city being destroyed by criminals and the mayor letting it happen? When I look at things like this, then it's easy to see which publication gets called fake news by President Trump. Who is better? CNN or Fox News? That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.